Cat Warrior Sports. We're here with Joe Weller. Tell me, man, KSI, Logan Paul 2. What did you think of the first fight? Did, who did you thought really won? Did you, did you think the draw was deserving? Okay. How did you see the second fight? Going? To be honest, I thought, you know, draw was fair. Uh, I thought Logan took round one and two and five. Then obviously JJ round three, four, and six. Um, yeah, I thought a draw was fair. Both guys put it all on the line. You know, absolutely went for it. It wasn't. The, it wasn't like the most technically sound fight. You know, we we know that, and we, we can't expect this one to be either. Um, but the will to win is there. You know, and it's. I think that's what it's going to come down to. Down to who can demonstrate they truly have that will to win. You know, so yeah. This time around, obviously, ten ounce gloves, no headgear. It was like a big shot last time, man. Yeah. I mean, I feel like that kind of translates into the next fight. Someone, I feel, is going to get knocked out. Yeah, hundred percent. I think. Look, the the the, the no head guards. You know, I think. In training, they'll be doing without head guards at points anyway. It's the gloves, you know. No head guard feels good, yeah. When you're be when you're being hit with 16 ounces or 18 ounces, but these 10 ounces, you know, you can feel your knuckles through them. And in you know backstage before the fight, they'll be trying to split them. You know, they won't just put them on and that's it. They try to absolutely break through so it's as much knuckle and uh, you know the obviously the under wraps uh, as possible. You know, coming through. So I can't see it going the distance, but. Whether it's going to be, you know, KO or TKO, you know, I think the ref's going to be very hot on not letting any of these boys get too hurt because, you know, they are novices still. You know, it's not real, real professional fighting. So, yeah. Do you favor either guy going into the second one? I mean, obviously, I, I'm. I just want the better man to win, but I feel like Logan, with having 14 months uh, of being able to, you know, perf perf perfect what he already had. You know, he only had three months last time to fully learn to box, and to, you know, he. He got a draw, and he looked more technically sound, you know. So I think that, on top of JJ being, uh, you know, mostly on a music tour this year, it, that could be the difference. You know, it's all about the experience, how active you've been, um, and JJ's had to shed, you know, weight, and he's still carrying a bit. Is that his natural weight? Is he having to force feed and eat more to, to stay heavy? I don't know, but yeah, it's all, it's all these little details that, that you've got to think about. Are you here uh, solely as a spectator? You're kind of scouting, maybe you might get in there again. So I, I'm commentating on the fight. Okay. So yeah, I'm with Sky Sports, and obviously yeah, all week just been covering uh, the different things that have been going on, uh, which has been amazing. Like, I've, I've enjoyed being this side of the ring, if you know what right, I mean. Yeah. So yeah, but um, <laughs> pain free on this side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously never say never, you know, never say never. But yeah, I've, I've definitely enjoyed this element of it. You know, you boxing fan? Hundred percent, mate. I love it. That's the thing. Like, I watch it week in, week out. Like whenever it's on, whenever there's a pay per view, like I'm there. I try to get to the events as well. You know, I work with JD Sports uh, a lot of the time to, to, to get, you know, I want to be there. Um, and yeah, man, I love it. And that was through, obviously, me learning to box because you learn, like, the different, so many different details that the casual fan just wouldn't even comprehend. So, you know, that's, yeah, it's opened my eyes a lot. And yeah, I've definitely fallen in love with it. You're getting, getting a lot more respect when you start doing the workout, especially in sparring. When someone starts hitting you back, you're like, man, this is Yeah, stuff. yeah, it's not a joke. That's the thing. You can't play this sport. You can't, you know, make out, yeah, I got this, I got this, because if you truly haven't, it will show. You know, a lot of my fight, I wasn't truly there, like, mentally, and I froze, you know, I didn't throw anything, I was just sort of so nervous, I didn't eat the, the day before, I didn't sleep the day before, I threw up before I went out, you know, all these different things, because I, I wasn't fully confident, you know, yeah. so... You know, it, it comes with time, it's the first yeah. one, and it's a big stage, obviously, the first yeah. time around, so... Uh, let's talk since you are a boxing fan, Joshua Ruiz, man, too. Yeah, Joshua's, I'm sorry, both of them really, but Ruiz is looking significantly slimmer. Uh, Joshua's kind of looking kind of slim too. Yeah, to be honest, obviously, I was there at Madison Square Garden for the last one, and Ruiz looked like, he looked like almost he was Joshua's, I don't know how, how you call it, just his, his bogeyman, like what would you call it, where he just has J, uh, AJ's number, like his style of, he's not afraid to get hit, and he's fast, and he's really short. AJ wanted to just keep, he was almost slow starting, but his past few fights he started quite like slow, he's not really wanting to get into anything too quickly, but Ruiz brought that, he brought the heat, he came forward, he didn't, he didn't get scared when he felt the power. And I think that's huge, and this time, you know, Ruiz has had a full camp. He's, he may already have affected AJ mentally, and if, if the, what happened last time, if we start seeing that, is AJ going to be strong enough or capable of dealing with it this time? Because 
it may just be that Ruiz is superior when these styles go together, and that just may be how it is. But we're going to see. It's exciting. Yeah, I, I can't wait, man. Do, do you feel that Hundred percent. I mean, I feel I feel like AJ won't be chasing it this time. Like last time, he was looking for the knockout, wasn't he? So I think he's going to just try and box his head off, jab, 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 and try and win. He's going to aim for a points win, but if he can finish it, then he finishes it. I don't think he's going to worry at all about getting a knockout though. Like that was his big downfall last time. But yeah, Ruiz obviously we can see could knock AJ out though. Like both guys. I mean, that was the mad thing. Like no one gave him credit or, or the you know thought that Ruiz would have the ability to put down big AJ but it just shows it just shows you know you can never predict the sport of boxing yeah, the sport of boxing unpredictable man Tyson Fury just in WWE how do you think he did? I don't know, mate. I mean, it, it, it makes you respect the actual WWE superstars more because, you know, they make it at least seem a little bit more believable, but Fury's he's, he's not that... Ad yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, it was it's entertaining, but I, I prefer even how he carries himself, like his persona, in boxing because you, you almost see in the wrestling he, he's a bit not as sure of himself because he doesn't know if he's doing the right thing. Whereas boxing, you know, even when you see him on, like, these sort of videos, he's just like, so, just has it, you know what I mean? So... Yeah, 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 so yeah. <laughs> Wilder uh, Fury 2. Well, obviously, Wilder has yeah. a big fight against Ortiz. Yeah. Uh, talk about that. But if he does pass that fight, then Wilder Fury does come to fruition in February. Yeah, talk, talk about those fights. Out of yeah, so obviously, for me, like looking at, oh, obviously, I watched the last fight. I was literally stood up the whole time, just, you know. And I, obviously, we all know uh, Fury had, his, had him in terms of like, he was able to deal with whatever Wilder was doing, keep out the way. Um, and to get up how he did, you know, he won won that fight, 100%, but he has a big cut, big scar now, and all it takes is for that to get cut open and him to lose vision and one of those wing mills come in, and do you know what I mean, like it's not, that is a huge thing, and I feel like part of him going into the WWE is to sort of allow time for that to recover a bit more, you know, take a bit of time off in disguise, but look, they've both experienced each other now, is Fury going to be as, you know, as every year, you know, as you start getting into like 30 and stuff, you, you wonder like, have they still got the movement? Because be, being that fluid, you know, it takes a lot of agility. Um, so yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. I can't wait for it though. I just hope that Fury does it. You know, I really respect everything he's done, you know, like mental health wise and everything. So yeah. You make a good point though, because that eye is a question mark that really no one kind of going into it. I, I talked to a lot of fighters and they kind of favor Fury going in. Yeah. But since the cut, people are a little more like, yeah, I don't know, because you know, Wilder can graze you with it and rip it open again. 100%, you know? yeah. I mean, that seems like the big thing. Yeah. Yo, thank you so much, time. No worries, so much man. Time. Appreciate Cheers. it, sir. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Cheers.